That's even faster than next. And listen to this ovation. We had breakfast together today, had a great time reminiscing. It's so great to have this man in the company. JR, you said you met this man as a as a teenager. You signed him to his first professional contract. The spark that you saw then. It's still got to be there now. You see the Upper Deck E-Pack card available until Wednesday at 3 p.m. UpperDeckEpack.com. Yeah, this kid is, uh, he always had something. He always had the it factor. Certainly did, but we heard this week on Dynamite. He said he felt free being here in AEW. But well, that comes with a price when the, when the man on the brand with the gold is Christian Cage who said more in three words than Copeland did in five minutes. Clearly, Cage hasn't lost his edge. This man is a credit to the pro wrestling business. Come on! That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Before, before I begin, I'm looking down there and I'm seeing JR. That man first signed me to a contract, I'll never forget it. Paid my college debts. I am forever in debt to you, sir. So, if you watch Dynamite on Wednesday, <laughs> well, you kind of know that things didn't go exactly according to my plan. And, <laughs> I don't get it. I'm, I'm really confused because the whole idea with me coming to AEW was, was to team with Christian Cage. I mean, you wanted to see it, right? Yeah. Like, uh, I gotta rewind a bit, okay? And I know this sounds like a, like a fairy tale, but the thing is with him and I, it's actually true. For nine years, I was told I could never do this again. I was told that if I fell, I could die. But I am standing here in an AEW ring <laughs> through a hell of a lot of hard work and a lot of persistence. But wait, it gets better because for seven years, Christian Cage was told he could never do this again. And through a lot of hard work and a lot of persistence, now he, he, he is here in AEW with me. So I, I just don't understand what happened because when we first started talking about this, when we first started talking about me coming here, that was the idea. And then somewhere along the line, he got a little bit colder. He stopped taking as many of my phone calls. And, and I get it, that's just him being him. He ain't the nicest guy in the world. He never has been. As a matter of fact, I've said it before, I'll say it again, he's a dick. But again, I love him, okay? He's my best friend for 40 years. So maybe when he stopped taking the calls, I should have realized, I should have had some kind of inkling as to what was gonna happen. And yeah, he's in his Bond villain phase, I get it. <laughs> he's got the turtlenecks, he's got the big heavy luchasaurus, which I guess makes Nick Wayne his hairless Persian cat that he pets in his lap, I don't know. Not gonna lie, if every time you guys see Nick Wayne you do that, I would be smiling. So really what I'm out here for is some answers. I, I wanna find out what is going on. I, I'm highly confused, so Christian, can, can you get out here and... and and just tell me what's going on since you won't take my calls? What, what is up?
Hedge has always been up front. <laughs> <laughs> Same old Adam, huh? You think you call the shots around here? You've been in AEW less than a week, and you've accomplished absolutely nothing. As the TNT champion, I come and go as I please. As for your request for an answer, it won't happen tonight. No. You want an answer? You'll get it this Tuesday live on Dynamite. I'll be there Tuesday. The question is, are you gonna make it? <laughs> Fuck you, Christian! That sounds ominous. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. And Adam Copeland, who has been in the daylight, has never traveled in the darkness like Christian Cage has. Well, this doesn't look good for. Adam Copeland whatsoever. Copeland's not making quips now, is he? Doesn't look like a Persian cat now, does he? And Copeland trying to trying to size things up, but there's two men circling the ring. Like all, all due respect, you don't want to take your eye off the big one, Luchasaurus. Oh, and the Queen gets set down by Adam Copeland. And Spear! Oh. One of the greatest fears in all the pro wrestling, Adam Copeland. Oh! Wow! Publication! No question, Christian Cage behind this attack. Oh, wait a minute! Copeland in the corner! Looking for some revenge, are we? Oh, goodness! Oh. And jumps! Oh, hard! Elevation! Technique. And that, that thoracic spine that has had three surgeries driven into the center of the ring. And the extinction! Oh. The extinction plants out of Copeland. From a huge human being with unyielding strength who is looking for his time in the sun. Copeland's not moving. Yeah, Nigel, you've had you've had neck injuries, neck issues. He's... I haven't had a triple neck fusion, though. This clearly a note from Christian Cage, who knows Adam Copeland like the back of his neck. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he... Luchasaurus. Oh, this comes straight. He's taken from Concerto. From the Patriarch. There's nothing. Oh. No. And look who's here. Well, he better get here quickly. And Luchasaurus wait, wait. awaits. There he is. Darby wait. Allen. Ah. Downtown with a steel chair goes Darby Allen. And Darby still has that hospital bracelet on from Sunday night. Decision tree that's going through the mind of Nick Wayne right now. High drama here tonight. <laughs> he, oh, oh, God! Nick the, Wayne, like a little brother to Darby Allen. Allen thought twice about the chair shot. Nick Wayne did not think twice. And oh, 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 Soros. Cliff Lash into the corner. The right arm of Darby Allen was nearly destroyed in the match with Christian Cage at Wrestle Dream. Oh, and it still has that brace. It still has that stabilizing brace on. We saw earlier tonight how Christian Cage horrible. nearly took the arm clean off. This is horrible. That, that hand was purple based on the damage, and we're going to see some unconscionable violence if it's oh. up to Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne. Allen come to the aid of Copeland. Who's going to come to the aid of Allen? No remorse! Nothing but malice, nothing but injury and hurt and pain and suffering on the mind of this young kid who should be taken to the woodshed. AEW Dynamite Title Tuesday, 8 p.m. on TBS. Christian Cage asked the question, Nigel. I will see you there. If you make it, will you make it? And now there are question marks swirling around not only out of Copeland, 
But Darby Allen as well. The violence that litters the ring here in Salt Lake City. Is it a preview? Is it a premonition as we have the title Tuesday, 8 p.m. on TBS for Nigel McGuinness, for good old JR Amin Rikabani. Happy wrestling. We'll see you 8 p.m. Eastern. TBS, AW Dynamite, title Tuesday.